This show is sponsored by We Are Change Fresno. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air, whatever the cost may be. We shall never surrender. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Join We Are Change Fresno. And now here's your host, Stuart Webb and Sam Shaney. Hello, friends. Welcome to We Are Change Fresno on 1680 AM, week 11. We've been going at it for 11 weeks now, and we're going to extend our show to two hours starting, ne- starting next week. All right. So it'll be on Saturday. Overtime, overtime. Oh. <laughs> it'll be on Saturday from 6 to 8, I believe. So tune in. On Saturdays, and we're gonna be having some some we're gonna have, we're gonna be having guests on for that second hour, uh, hopefully every week, and you'll be able to hear more of what's going on. Sam, what do we have on the agenda today? You sent me a lot of links, and I only got through not even half, but we're gonna attempt to get through them. Stuart, it's a never-ending news cycle, as you know, and with the internet, it's even uh, more odorous to cover all the news. But uh, before we get into the news, I want to give a special thanks to uh, one of our newest sponsors, the Thrifty Nickel Wan Ads, and especially uh, a special lady that works there, Pam Nickel T. Without her, uh, the second hour next week would not be possible. And she's a great activist, continues to speak out, speak the truth, and raise public awareness about all the trouble that we're in due to this new world order that they're bringing in. Thank you, Pam. Pam's a great patriot. You'll see her out here around Fresno protesting and she goes and covers uh, city council meetings, air resources board meetings. I mean, she is out and about and she is constantly in the info war pushing uh, a lot of good information in the nickel and on Facebook. If you just follow Pam on Facebook, I mean, it's like every five minutes she posts something that needs to be shared a million times, no joke. So we really appreciate Pam. And yes, she is the reason we're going to have a second hour. So, and and we're going to be able to bring you more of what's going on. So we really appreciate that. Stuart, there are 10 corporations that control nearly everything you buy. And there are six media corporations that control nearly everything you read and watch. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like, uh, that sounds like America right there. Sounds like freedom, freedom of the press. Yeah, definitely. Well, the companies that control everything that you buy are Coca-Cola, Kraft, Nestle, Procter & Gamble, GE, Kellogg's, Unilever, Mars, and Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, if you, you know what, if you, if you, if you drink soda, how, how often are you drinking soda that has actual sugar in it? I mean, honestly, I can't I can't find soda without high fructose corn syrup. There is no sugar. It's just high fructose corn syrup. There might be some some sugar in it. I don't know. But that's why when you drink soda with real sugar in it, you notice a difference. And uh, these companies that like Coca Cola, I mean, how have they been, how have they been able to operate when they're just poisoning us with this high fructose corn syrup? Corn syrup? They might as well actually make a soda just called high fructose corn syrup, and I think people would actually probably buy it because it's in everything that they drink. So uh, we need to use our our dollar correctly and uh, use their purchasing power to purchase uh, good food and products that actually have real ingredients that can actually give you real nutrition instead of these corporations that are just set on destroying us and uh yeah and enslaving us to their products because poison like aspartame in diet coke and you'll see diet coke everyone drinks diet coke i hate diet soda so it works for me but works out but i mean diet coke aspartame is in diet coke and it's a poison and but yet Everyone drinks it, and it's very addic- it's highly addictive, just like nicotine. I mean, and I don't see how they're able to do it, but you know, they make money off us while killing us. Well, they bought off Congress, is how they're able to do it. 
Uh, here's an example of how it works to put it in your mind so you could understand the control that these uh, oligopoly of corporations have gotten over America. Now, we need to boycott these people. So it goes like this. Yum Brand owns Kentucky Fried Chicken and Taco Bell. The company was a spinoff of Pepsi. All Yum Brand restaurants sell only Pepsi products because of a lifetime deal with the soda maker. And we have that same problem here at Fresno State. I was a student at Fresno State a few years back, and we tried to bring in bottled water to our fraternity social gathering, and the administration flipped out over it because they have a deal with Pepsi. You can only use Pepsi products at Fresno State, which is not freedom. That is fascism. Exactly. And the taxpayers are funding the public school system and the CSU system. Okay, so when they get sued or when anything happens to these CSUs and state funded colleges, we have to pay for it. Okay, and but you can't bring a certain type of bottle on campus because, you know, the, basically that just tells you basically corporations, uh, m multinational select corporations basically run the whole show down to education. Pepsi owns Fresno State University. I remember when we were doing our interviews at Fresno State, Sam told me about that. We were doing man on the street, you know, our videos asking college kids what inflation was. And you can tell that just because they have no idea what it is. I mean, I asked them what their first amendment was. They couldn't really answer it. I mean, uh, that should alarm people. And then Sam told me about uh, how, what happened with the whole Pepsi thing, how they didn't want, they flipped out when they brought something other than a Pepsi product to their fraternity. And uh, it just shows the control, the, the massive control of the entire system. And clearly they're not teaching these kids anything of value because they don't even know their bill of rights. And probably they didn't even know who the vice president was. All that stuff is very, very racist, Stuart. Everything I just said is completely racist. I'm actually a thought criminal, more than a thought criminal, because even just because I was thinking about saying it, I, that was a crime, but then I actually say, said it, I should be put to death. There's been a disconnect from reality and uh, critical thinking and just plain old common sense because they're trying to push this race issue so hard. I'm sorry, but I, I, I had it on my mind for a while. That's a little bit off subject, but it's just ridiculous, okay? The people pushing it are the ones who are the racists. Okay, back to, back to the six corporations that control the media. Everything you watch and read are General Electric, News Corp, Disney, Viacom, Time Warner, and CBS. And they're looking to merge News Corp with Time Warner. The deal hasn't gone through, but we could probably expect to see it go through in the next couple of months. Yeah, and think about that. The centralization of control and power in the media. Uh, see, Disney owns ABC, and then uh, Disney also owns percentages of uh, CBS and NBC or RCA, what was formerly RCA. And so how is that freedom of the press? Is that a real is that a real free free press right there? I, it just sounds like one company's pushing out whatever they want. Uh, and then and then you see the paradigm with MSNBC being complete, uh, absolutely basically communist, racist and anti right winger or anything that has to do with the Constitution. And then. Fox News is basically the same thing. Oh, MSNBC is just so terrible, uh, and they are, you know, idiots and whatnot, and uh, liberals that don't know anything. But really, they're all being paid by the same people. Okay, so that's that's that just shows you, Stuart. As and we see this consolidation of all industries and to the banking industry, the criminal banking industry. In uh, in 1990, there was a uh, a lot more banks than there are now. We've seen over the years a consolidation of the banks down to just the big four now commercial banks. We have four commercial banks in this country, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Citigroup. And so the whole central banking system run by the Federal Reserve is criminal, but now they've consolidated down to where we have four choices, an oligopoly. And so a solution to that, join your local credit union. Um, Stuart, but it just speaks to the uh, continued consolidation and collapse of our economy, which we continue to preach on this show. Prepare, folks, please prepare. 
Um, but it, it, it's uh, it's all right there for you to go see. I'm sure that uh, anybody that's paying halfway attention can see this plane as day. Yeah. Um, I mean, when – what was it? The Rothschilds uh, – Rothschild said, I – I care not who makes the laws. Give me a control of a country's money supply. And I care I care not who makes the laws. That was the the paraphrased quote. Uh, so you can see that the centralization of the banking industry just means that uh, you will, I mean, basically they can make or break you. If you wanna start a business, good luck getting a loan. If you wanna get a house, good luck getting a loan. And if you don't understand the, the, the Federal Reserve System and inflation, it doesn't even really matter anyway. But still, it just shows that right they're just throwing it in your face that we control the money we just we control the money period and we also steal from your labor and we also inflate the dollar by counterfeiting money for ourselves and uh lowering the value of your dollar that you worked for while continuing to steal from your labor through the income tax which is apparently an amendment but uh w w whether or not that's even constitutional uh we c it can be argued so very, very important to know the centralization of the banking cartel because that's really where it all starts, the Federal Reserve. Any politician that number one issue is not monetary reform in this country, we need to not vote for them because nothing will ever change until we have sound money in this country. Exactly. Ron Paul talks about it all the time. Okay. Everyone should have an intense interest in what money is and how it's manipulated by a few at the expense of many. Okay, the people need to go read Ron Paul, read and the Fed, read Ron Paul Revolution. Right now, I'm reading uh, uh, Freedom. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me get let me get out the book. Here we go. A foreign policy of freedom, peace, commerce, and honest friendship. He just basically puts in on paper congressional record what he's said to Congress in front of Congress. And uh, it's very important information. And we need to start uh, reading up on all these issues and read up on the Fed, because if we don't understand this, then I don't see how we're gonna have a future. I mean, honestly, if you don't understand it, how do you, I mean, that's why we go into the Federal Reserve, Skull and Bones, Bilderberg Group. This is where all this stuff starts, okay? All these problems are originated because we know their policies. They wanna shape policy. It's one of their planks and national sovereignty, control education, control uh, all domestic and foreign policy, uh, control everything. I mean, it's just about control. So if we need to understand where that's coming from, uh, oh, politicians, they're not incompetent, okay? They are just evil, okay? So today we felt some of that evil. I was talking to you about it before the show. Yep. We went to the uh, San Joaquin Valley Air Resources Control Board meeting trying to raised the issue of geoengineering and I requested from them uh, an investigation into geoengineering and all I got was stone cold looks as I got the last time I went and requested the same thing. But we know that uh, the cat's out of the bag already. Shasta County Board of Supervisors has agreed to investigate it because they have some real people up there. But th but I, I, in that room, I felt like I was on another planet. I felt like it was some bad dystopic sci-fi movie it felt like pure evil is what it felt like. It felt like these people did not have my best interest at heart, and I could literally feel the evil radiating off them. It was very, very creepy. And uh, so me and, a, me and about uh, eight activists went in there. I think five or six people gave public comments. They give you three minutes. And after that, we went out into the hallway to have a little uh, talk about our next meeting. Uh, and you know what they did? They pulled the fire alarm. A robot voice came over the loudspeakers and said, evacuate the building. And we all looked around for an exit. And a blonde woman ran out of the meeting and said, oh, there's the exit. You guys need to get out of here. And so we ran out of the building thinking that there was a fire alarm going off. And so we congregated outside the building talking about the next meeting. And uh, no one else came out. So it was a big joke on us. Very, very bizarre behavior by the Air Quality Control Resources Board. Yeah, and I, I don't think the fire department showed up either, right? Correct? No, it was a hoax, yeah. like they are. Yeah, and I don't think the woman telling everyone to get out of the building because you know, there's a fire. I don't think she even got out of the building, huh? Yeah. No, she didn't. Yeah. Folks, we got to take a quick break. Here's a word from our sponsor, FresnoForward.com. Listen up, Fresno. Are you tired of boring local news coverage? 
Then log on to FresnoForward.com, the Central Valley's number one source for independent, local, and alternative news and views. FresnoForward.com is updated daily, bringing you stories on government corruption, local activism, Fresno culture, and so much more. Did I mention FresnoForward.com has no ads or signups required? FresnoForward.com. You will love it. Folks, we're back. I'm your host, Stuart Webb, with my co-host, Sam Cheney. This is We Are Change Fresno on 1680 AM. Going into our second segment, Sam, what do we got? Police state stuff? Police state stuff. Um, Stuart, a black cop shot and killed a white man in Utah in Salt Lake City. So where is the public outrage about that? Well, there's a lot to be said about that. But I would argue that probably... uh, this was in Salt Lake City, you said? Salt Lake City, Utah. Well, the unemployment rate is probably pretty low there, I would imagine. And so people are busy working <clears throat> to pay for everyone that doesn't work. I mean, let's just get down to it. <clears throat> Ferguson, that town, I'm sure it's just completely, it looks like it's completely poverty stricken. And it's a town of about 20,000. By design. <clears throat> oh, by design, exactly. Everyone's on the government dole there. And it's very sad to see that because uh, <clears throat> you see... It actually, <clears throat> you can, you can per, like perpetuate this um, this whole racial issue with the whole with the cop shooting the kid, even though he was attacked. Clearly, that we've seen that because n- most people probably don't have jobs there. I mean, let's just be honest. Most people they have time to go riot. And do I agree with the police state? Absolutely not. It's horrendous. But they they. The feds want this, okay? They want this. The, the media blows it out of proportion, but the police state is real, okay? And that is not okay. They have the right to protest <clears throat> in Ferguson peacefully, but burning down a gas station, okay, that is a criminal act. If you just did that, if I did that in Fresno, I would be arrested, okay? But no, in Ferguson, it's okay because you'll selectively enforce uh, certain laws when it's convenient. Oh, we're going to let these people loot. And then come out the next day when people are actually peacefully protesting and say, no, you can't peacefully protest because there was looting. But the cops never arrested the people that were looting. So uh, it's selective enforcement of the police state, which is even worse than just a police state. I mean, it's selective enforcement. It's just throwing it right in your face like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to selectively, you know, I'm going to point a gun at your face. And then this guy over here is going to rob a bank. And I'm just going to say, you know what? Eh, It's okay. That's almost even worse than an absolute police state. Jeez. It pisses me off. Yeah, it's it's utterly ridiculous. It's made for TV movie. Uh, it's a bunch of stage agent provocateurs over Absolutely. there doing the violence. And uh, let, let's get this straight. We don't promote looting or rioting. We promote the First Amendment peaceful assembly. All right, so let's get that out of the way. We don't promote any racism. Okay, the thing about it is the federal government and the mainstream media that's all they do promote okay and so they paint the picture that that's what it's all about that's not what it's all about it's bigger than that and we don't discount that there is racism going on in this world because that would be naive there is definite real racism going on in this world but to make it all about that is the wrong message to send the public if we want to uh have unity which is what the federal government does not want because if we ever unite and we all point our finger back at them and the federal reserve then uh we might have some real change in this country but if we continue to say everybody's racist who disagrees with us and continue down this uh path of of just uh insanity of no critical thinking whatsoever just nonsense then uh we're gonna get what we have in ferguson chaos the welfare state has completely failed. Stefan Molyneux talks about the Ferguson situation. Really, you got to te- check out Stefan Molyneux. He breaks it down. He he's an atheist anarcho-capitalist, okay? Libertarian. Okay, that's just I know that's a lot to take in, but the guy looks at things for what they are and he's very smart. And he just went over the facts of the case and and he just kind of said, "Hey, look, this is what happened." I, I mean, you, you should be smart enough to realize that there shouldn't be riots going on and burning of buildings. Uh, they shouldn't be allowed to happen while peaceful protests, protests are happening. But then the police state is pushed on the peaceful protesters and the press, but nothing's done about the looters and the provocateurs. Joe Biggs said, 
I am seeing a stash of Molov to- cocktails waiting to be thrown. Told the cops about it, and they said, eh, whatever. The thing is, they want the police state, and they can do it in a place like Ferguson because it's small. It's have the it's mainly populated with poor blacks, I, and it's it's sad to see that, but they can make that seem like such a racial racially divided uh, city with the cops being white and most of the the city being black. It's so easy for them to just say, oh, this this white cop was racist because most of the police force is white. It's really it's not even really about that. It's it's about these people are poor and they're angry, and I feel for them. I really do. Uh, and these kids are not being uh, raised with two parents they're not being raised i'm sorry michael brown whatever they want to say about how he was a gentle giant that's all a hoax uh he was not raised properly he has uh horrible rap music uh that he made and not not that it has anything to do with him getting shot but it shows you uh that he was not raised properly okay and most of these kids are not being raised properly because they think it's okay to burn down a, a private citizen's building okay that had nothing to do with the actual shooting, and then it's okay, it's accepted, just because you're angry and mad, okay, and all while the, poli- the police officer in Utah shot a white man, right, okay, just recently, yeah. right, well, the people in Utah, they don't have time to write because their, their labor is being stolen, they're working all day to pay for the federal government to give handouts to the people in Ferguson, I'm just, that's just the way I see it, I call it how I see it, and it's very sad that that's what the welfare state does, okay, and I just don't know I just don't know what else to say about it it's uh, you know the police aren't doing their job which is to actually arrest criminals and not shut down the city and shred the Constitution because peaceful peaceful protesters are exercising their First Amendment it was it was provocateur by the Justice Department and like like uh, Infowars reporter said, I suggest everybody go to Infowars and see Joe Biggs reports about it because he is uh, a guy on the ground getting you the real truth about what's going on there. A veteran. A veteran. Big dec- time. Decorated war veteran. So uh, he's a pretty credible guy. And uh, you should go look at his reports because you can see the vast difference between how the mainstream media is reported on it and how Infowars is reported on it. But Stuart, it's bigger. It's bigger. Okay, it's bigger than this issue racism. I went to the Fresno stands with Ferguson rally here, and uh, it it was well intentioned people. It was a majority of uh, black people and African Americans. I guess I don't know what's the politically what's the correct, politically correct way to I call me. Do what, you want to be called they, black or African American? What are we supposed to say? I, I think we should just call them all Americans. Me too. I think we're just Amer- he's an American man. Does it matter what color it is? No, it doesn't matter what color he is. I thought we we got rid of the word color, really. Like how we, the people of color, I thought that was like a 1960s type of language, okay? not. I'm not saying you can't say that, but it's like that. that's the kind of language we're bringing it back now. Why, why do we have to call people black or white, you know? I mean, it's just, we're all American. No, we can have all this political correctness about nonsense, but about things that really may offend someone and that are actually offensive. Because if you ever fill out a form for the government, and you look at the demographic data that they're trying to get from you. Uh, they ask you if you're white. Well, myself personally, I'm a quarter Portuguese, and so where's that on these forms? It's not there. And so, I, if I was an easily offended person, I could be offended by that. And but, uh, yeah, we're all Americans. And uh, so I went to this rally, stand with Ferguson, with Americans led by preachers, and they were preaching the same race propaganda blaming it on that and i don't disagree that that's part of the problem but it's much much bigger the problem is the police state okay because hey if you're a racist if you don't like people because of the color of their skin more power to you all right i don't have a problem with that this is supposed to be a free country so you are allowed to think and feel however you want i'm not going to promote that point of view because i don't believe in that personally but if you're out there as a racist Go for it, right? Hate people. But the issue is that you need to understand this police state that's being built is not for (laughs) is not for just a specific race of people. It's for all of us. Okay, wake up to this fact. Okay. Stuart, here in uh in California, we're seeing a massive increase in the militarization of the police. Um in Los Angeles County, they got 
3,408 assault rifles. They got 1,696 pieces of body armor, 827 night vision pieces, four armored vehicles, three grenade launchers, and three mine resistant vehicles. Now, why are they so heavily armed here? And then uh, San Luis Obispo County got a, a much smaller uh, cache of weapons, but they went big with night vision goggles and they got 702 pair of those. Sacramento County got 797 assault rifles. Ooh, but for all you conspiracy theorists out there, they got 17 attack helicopters, the black helicopters. Ooh, that's that's a conspiracy theory. Yeah. Well, they <laughs> they got them. They they got 17 of them in Sacramento County. That's uh it's not that big of a county. Wait, Denise. black helicopters? I think Sam's racist and a conspiracy theorist. Black hair. I mean, <laughs> black helicopters? That is so racist. You Just might, like brown you bag. Might, you might have caught me on that one. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, folks. And the, in Sacramento County, also got eight grenade launchers. Why grenade launchers? <laughs> eight, eight grenade launchers. Why do they need these? I mean, is the public that well armed? I don't think they are. I mean, even if there was a, a gang of armed thugs the the crips gang right or the bloods gang one of these violent street gangs are they really gonna do they need grenade launchers and 17 black helicopters to defend against this i mean isn't it a bit overkill yeah i look we we paid for all this equipment so i say if they're going to give it to the police department they should actually they should actually just give it to the people that paid for it, which are the taxpayers. So we're not getting these grenade launchers. We're not getting these assault rifles. In fact, we're being limited to actually owning any kind of this technology. Can I have a mine-resistant tank? Can my can my neighborhood just have one? I mean, why can't we? We paid for it. Okay? The government can't operate. Remember, they can't operate without the taxpayer. Okay? And when they don't have the taxpayer, oh, that's why. that's when they start to print money to devalue your money. That's why the the Fed's so evil is because we, we didn't even get them co consent to buy all this stuff. We didn't have the money. We're $17 trillion in debt. They printed it all. But we're going to have to pay it back, which means to me is that I need to have those grenade launchers because I paid for them. So giving them to police to then collapse the economy and then have police be, uh, you know, be armed like they're in Iraq on the streets is not okay with me. And it's unconstitutional. And uh, they didn't pay for it. The police didn't pay for it. They work for us. We paid for it. Well, it's been going on since the 90s by, uh, by a program created by the Department of Defense. But we see a massive escalation ever since 2006. And right here in Fresno County, they gave us, uh, they gave our local law enforcement 56 assault rifles, 44 pieces of night vision, four pieces of body armor, two grenade launchers, and a black helicopter and one mine resistant vehicle there you go there you go again being racist black helicopter i mean it's just stating a fact is just racist now knowing anything it's ridiculous <laughs> it it really is Stuart. the the political correctness is uh what it is is thought control mind control but uh moving on here with some more police state news Technology and defense giant Raytheon was recently awarded a $130 million contract to install all electronic tolling systems on a Massachusetts turnpike and at several local tunnels. And so you see, folks, the military industrial complex, which is uh, the mainstream media is their propaganda arm now. And you see how they're eating America, just how Eisenhower warned us in his speech before he left office. It has happened now. It's plain as day. You have to be blind to not see this. Yeah, I mean, look, they're getting this $130 million contract. I mean, the NSA, once again, the taxpayers fund the NSA. That's coming out of our pocket, okay? That's how these criminal, this criminal multinational corporation, government, fascist uh, dictatorship that we have that's how it operates. They get the, the legislature to, to pass laws to then steal from the taxpayers to give to, to select corporations, special interests that get the government contracts, okay? And not only do they get the contract, it'd be one thing if they weren't doing things illegally and spying on us, but they get the contracts to actually enslave us. So as I always say, we are paying for our own enslavement. 
Folks, we got to take a quick break. Here's a word from our sponsor, FresnoForward.com. Listen up, Fresno. Are you tired of boring local news coverage? Then log on to FresnoForward.com, the Central Valley's number one source for independent, local, and alternative news and views. FresnoForward.com is updated daily, bringing you stories on government corruption, local activism, Fresno culture, and so much more. Did I mention FresnoForward.com has no ads or signups required? FresnoForward.com. You will love it. Folks, we're back. I'm your host, Stuart Webb, along with my co-host, Sam Cheney, and our producer, Woody. Oh, I guess he doesn't have his mic. <laughs> we're on 1680 AM. We're going 1680 in- <laughs> rocks, yes. Okay, yeah. I'm back on. Okay, I'm, I'm here now. I woke up. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're in our third segment. Uh, again, we'd like to thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we will be on for two hours starting next week, and we just appreciate all the support, our sponsors, and... We're taking it to the next level. We got another hour. We're going to have interviews. We're going to get some some local people running for some some offices, uh, hopefully in here for interviews. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. We're going to keep pushing forward. As things get crazier, we just have to continue uh, fighting tyranny. Uh, was it Thomas Jefferson, I think, that said, uh, yeah, resistance to tyranny is obedience to God. So if for all you Christians out there, you need to be in some way fighting this tyranny okay whether it be speaking out or uh, protesting or writing papers and giving them to your friends uh, giving out dvds use your purchasing power at uh you know a local uh, farmer's market that's how we we take down this tyrannical system and also just just help your fellow man as much as you can give service and don't be obsessed with the material mindless culture that we have and don't get sucked into the conveniences that we have because those could be all gone uh, any second. Sam, what do we got on our third segment? Stuart, yeah, prepare because they're bringing on the collapse. It's plain as day. We have California corruption, a little bit about Rick Perry, Agenda 21. Uh, Stuart, in Washington State, Billionaires and millionaires are giving hundreds of thousands of dollars in support of Washington State's Initiative 594, a gun control initiative, expanding background checks. Yeah, um, it says here, I think, uh, yeah, Bill and Melinda Gates are one of the donors to uh, this gun control initiative. 50 grand. (laughs) That's nothing. I mean, that's like literally what he carries around in his pocket, probably. Uh, So we see these billionaires and millionaires... um, they want restrictions for the, the the private citizen. They want restrictions on everyone and that's not in their elite club, okay? Bill Gates wants Common Core for your kids openly, you know, funding it and supporting it. But no, his kids get the best private school education, I think like 28 grand a year. That sounds like, I think, the tuition for his, you know, kids that go to high school at a private school. But for normal kids, like you know yours because you're not Bill Gates's son or daughter. For you normal kids, you bottom feeders. No, no, public education's great for you. Common Core is great. Remember, I'm talking like I'm on NPR and uh, I can do no wrong because I'm non-threatening. That's the neuro-linguistic programming that they're using against us to dumb us down and keep uh, all the liberals under control. Because I thought if you're a liberal, you're against a police state. And uh, they just keep you in this mind fog with that neuro-linguistic programming. And they know exactly what they're doing. They're professional mind controllers. And so they know. Stuart, a little bit more about this is, uh, is it would, initiative 594 would require background checks for all sales and transfers in Washington state of firearms. But our government gives Al Qaeda firearms with no oversight whatsoever so i don't see the correlation why the american people need to give up their second amendment right while our federal government the military industrial complex goes over to the middle east and gives al-qaeda whatever weapons they want yeah i mean are at the border do we have like gun background checks for people bringing in weapons and drugs i mean we don't have any checks there so regardless about what you want to talk about, we need more gun control for safety and all that bull. It's a bunch of bull because the border's wide open. We're going to continue to stress that. Uh, Just like we talk about the war on terror is a fraud. The borders are wide open. It's a fraud. Okay? 
It's hypocrisy. That's all you got to look at. What? Where's the hypocrisy? Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Then it's all a fraud. Gun control is a fraud. We see it in Chicago. And, uh, you know, people get upset about one kid getting shot by a cop to cause racial division. And the kid was attacking the cop. Uh, and But in Chicago, gang violence is no big deal. I mean, it's just a daily thing. And the people in Chicago, really, the black community is very upset about this. And they are, they are hurting and they want some someone to do something about it what they need is their second amendment and they need to kick all their politicians out of office Rahm Emanuel's got to go that's how they're going to change it but no one the media doesn't cover them they need help they want their second amendment they want a way to protect themselves but they're not getting it because it's not racially divide divisive yeah they need they need their second amendment and responsible citizens standing up to provide order to the community because it's obvious that the police can't and won't do you think Bill Gates has private security with guns that follows him around? Stuart, he does. And we know our gun grabbing, uh, Satan worshiping Diane Feinstein in this state has a, has her own firearms concealed carry permit. And she also has an army of armed guards. Uh, I'm sure she has secret service. And so, yes, all these, uh, billionaire millionaires, Michael Moore is another one. That uh, go get a around. dog. Michael Moore said, "Just just get a dog to protect yourself. I'll have armed guards. You get a dog." All, all these people that go around telling us all day we can't have a Second Amendment, they know that if the public ever does wake up to the fraud that they are, these billionaires and millionaires supporting taking away our Second Amendment, they are all criminals. Oh, absolutely. I mean, really, fifty grand. That's and then the other guy, some other family or the, this wife and her husband i was it balmer i don't know they donated like half a million dollars what kind of person is willing to donate 500 grand to disarm people the average citizen that has the right to defend themselves who's willing to really want to disarm them make it harder for them to get uh, uh, a gun to protect themselves and it's going to make the price of guns go up it's in california the price of everything is going up okay I mean, the, I have to pay for a background check every time I buy a gun, okay? And the, I know that money's not going to good use because we see they're all they're doing is trying to restrict it further. So these billionaires and millionaires, they are elite scumbags, and that's all the only way to put it. They are just, they want to be exempt from all these laws, and they think that they, if they play ball with this establishment, that they're going to actually be able to keep their rights and live in on some paradise island utopia. It's not true. And they're selling out right now, and uh, we need to figure out where we are, what side we're on. Do you have the do? Do we have the right as people, the poorest and the richest of citizens? Do we all have the right to bear arms? Yes, we do. It's in the, our constitution, and it's an unalienable right given to us by our Creator. Whether you like it or not, that's the truth. Stuart, our our uh, mainstream media in this country is lying to us, and we have proof. There was a ruling that. Uh, that Fox News, because they had a reporter that wanted to report the truth about this growth hormone, RBGH, that is produced by our Monsanto Corporation, evil criminal Satan worshippers. Um, but what we saw out of this ruling by Fox News was that uh, they went ahead and lawyers from Monsanto went ahead and rewrote her story. And then uh, they turned around and they... Uh, argued that it was their first amendment to lie and the court ruled with them and so there's a court ruling now that says it's uh, your first amendment to lie and i guess it is so public it's your choice whether to believe or not what they're telling you out of the mainstream media now and so know this we're warning you right now they are lying to you well yeah and they're competitors see they're not really competitors msnbc cnn they're only there to, to to push certain issues that really aren't even that important, like social issues, to make Fox News and MSNBC seem like they're complete opposites so that you try, have to pick a side. But really, CNN, MSNBC, they didn't report on this story. You think that they would jump on at, at the chance to, to say Fox News literally admits that they have the right to lie to you and they've won a court case over it saying that it's freedom of speech to lie, okay? Don't you think that they would be interested in covering that because that's their competition? Oh, wait, no, but the six uh, corporations own the entire mainstream media. Well, entire media of the, the entire everything we see. So uh, that ex that's why it's it's controlled opposition, okay? Thin 
synthesis, or I'm sorry, thesis, antithesis, and synthesis, okay? Hegelian dialectic, problem, reaction, solution. They own both sides so they can control the outcome, okay? So it's not, that's not really a free press. I mean, honestly, and it's someone needs to compete with Fox News. Should we just start calling Fox News the onion? I mean, both of them are basically the onion. The, the people on Fox News are plastic, and MSNBC, uh, everyone talks with a lisp and looks like a lesbian. Let's just be honest about it, okay? And they're not promoting the Bill of Rights and Constitution at all, okay? And then saying that we need to hate each other. It's ridiculous. Stuart, it's mind control is what it is. Yes. And just wake up to the fact that they're lying to you. And a big solution for it, boycott them. Don't participate in it. Make your own media. That's what Stuart and I are doing. That's what we need to do to take this country back is make your own media. Because actually, we're more talented than they are. They have no opinion of their own. They're reading off a teleprompter from the mind controllers telling you what their target audience wants to hear. And uh, it's utterly ridiculous at this point. We cannot let them take us into any more war, okay? That's what they want is to get us into these wars with all their hoaxes. You cannot believe anything that they say, okay? A court ruling says they have the right to lie to you, and that's exactly what they're doing is they're lying. Yeah, and then they're giving you the perception because they have all this money, and then they're on the mainstream that they're credible. But really, they are giving you half-truths, and they are deceiving you, okay? And hey, nothing against your sexual orientation, but look, MSNBC, if you look at their whole style, they obviously want to- uh, Cater they, to a certain audience, yes, they certain want to cater demographic. To a, exactly, and same with Fox News. They warmonger all day, and they talk about how, uh, they and they cater to the Christian community, which you know is clearly against you know gay marriage. So really, it has nothing, uh, our future really doesn't have much to do with those two things. Now in the, pro, now, now, in the process of where our country's going, yes, they're going to have some. They're going to have an effect uh, because they're an issue. But they're really they're not the most import important issues. And that's why we have so, so many problems. Is because the most important issues are not being talked about on either of these channels, all the mainstream media. And that's why they're dying because people are hunger hungry for the truth. And we really need to get out of this paradigm and just admit that we all want freedom. We want humanity to continue. We want our species to continue. Look, you have. I believe you have the right to uh, be whatever se sexual orientation you want and believe whatever religion you want as long as you're not hurting anyone. I, I, we all can be friends, and we can all choose to not be friends if we don't want to. But I don't want uh, these corporations literally playing us off against each other, forcing us to think that we need to be on a certain team. And if we, we can't be friends if we're not on that one team because both teams are wrong. I'll be honest. And they're both deceiving you. Yeah, we're all under attack, all of us. If you're not an elite in these secret societies and these big-time globalist think tanks, then you are are the enemy. And they're even going to eat their own because of their own corruption. But here, we are all in it together as Americans, and we need to save this country and its sovereignty, or we will go into one-world government where uh, they dictate to us from some spaceship. I mean, <laughs> they might as well be aliens from outer space because they hate us they hate humanity they are very evil they're possessed by an evil spirit Stuart, moving on here to 9 11 okay here's another example of the people have spoken the government doesn't care because they're possessed by this evil spirit i call them satan worshipers some people say that's a bit extreme go look into how they act and the, the places they go skull and bones bohemian grove i could go on and on but back to 9 11 uh, New York City Council will not accept over 30,000 signatures for a high-rise safety initiative, a measure that would require an investigation into all high-rise collapses on or since September 11, 2011. We can't get an investigation because they already know what happened. They did a controlled demolition, and they pulled it just like... Uh, Larry Silver said, and just take a look at Building 7, and it's pretty hard to deny that it was controlled demolition. Yeah, well, we all know 9-11 was a fraud. Look at Building 7, just collapsed. Uh, and we, I mean, there's literally hundreds of books written about how 9-11 is a fraud. Uh, architects and engineers, uh, that, uh, over th a couple thousand of them have now said, look, this is a hoax. It's it's science. We, have, we can prove to you that it was a controlled demolition, and... But of course, the government can't admit that because then we all we all have to admit that they're a fraud and all these wars are a fraud. 
okay? And so that means that we'll have to get out of these wars because there's no reason to be there because we know it's a fraud. But anyway, just before we take a, a, qu a quick break, uh, uh, a city council, uh, New York City councilman or woman said it would be a waste of taxpayers' money, even a waste of taxpayers' money to have this initiative or this uh, to get an investigation. Well, uh, I'll paraphrase, but I believe the government has literally spent a couple million dollars or a couple hundred thousand dollars on uh, a study to see the effects of cocaine on rats. So uh, I think we can afford to have an investigation of 9-11. It's not a waste of money. Folks, we've got to take a quick break. Here's a word from our sponsor, FresnoForward.com. Listen up, Fresno. Are you tired of boring local news coverage? Then log on to FresnoForward.com, the Central Valley's number one source for independent, local, and alternative news and views. FresnoForward.com is updated daily, bringing you stories on government corruption, local activism, Fresno culture, and so much more. Did I mention FresnoForward.com has no ads or signups required? FresnoForward.com. You'll love it. Folks, we're back. I'm your host, Stuart Webb, along with my co-host, Sam Cheney. We're down to our last segment of the hour. Yay! Remember, <laughs> next week, on Saturdays, 6 to 8, we'll be broadcasting for two hours. Uh, thanks again to our sponsors. And Sam, what do we and got? Th and thanks to all the fans that uh, tune in and that gave us the, the option to go two hours. Exactly. Thank you to our listeners. We really appreciate it. Keep spreading the truth and uh, promoting freedom and liberty. It's important. Sam, what do we got? A report out of the AP, it says uh, the headline, less shake from artificial quakes, Fed study s says, and I just wanted to touch on that briefly, man-made earthquakes, a side effort of some high-tech energy drilling, which is the fracking, and I'm, we're not even going to get into that. That's a big old mess. But uh, yes, man-made earthquakes do exist, and we have a federal study that tells us so. If you ever tell anybody that oh the government or frackers or man is has the ability to create earthquakes we have a federal study that says so so that is fact yeah and uh, we have weather modification okay listen folks you got to start believing in things that seem unbelievable because we have we most of us we have literally a device in our pockets that can we can talk to someone across the world face to face okay and if you can if you can't figure out how that works then just admit that you don't know everything and that things are the technology we have is absolutely unbelievable and amazing so we need to start believing in uh things that seem outrageous because uh hey truth is stranger than fiction mad made earthquakes do exist but moving on here wow california the drought is unbelievable this is the hottest year that we've ever seen since they started recording it in 1895 and uh a little side note what the fresno county board of supervisors is trying to water or uh, meter people's wells now in the county and so that's very disturbing that they're trying to do that on people infringe on people's property rights but uh yes it is the number one issue in california Besides the Federal Reserve should be the drought and the water crisis and all the fraud that's going on with that. Yeah, that's actually happening. We talked to people in Sanger at the the Tea Party meeting that we spoke at, and they said, yeah, we're they're, they're trying to put the smart meters on our wells on our own property. Okay, that is their water. That is their property. Look, if you have a puddle, if you have a pool, now they're just going to control all what they want full control of everything we need to understand that it's about full spectrum dominance they want to they want to control everything it's agenda 21 agenda 21 they want complete control okay uh and if we give them that control i mean what is it what's the saying you know uh power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely and that's what they want absolute power and if we give it to them they will literally dominate us until we are done until we don't exist okay that's how immoral is that okay someone who labored they they built the well it's their water it's their land and they say no you you actually uh we own that water it's unbelievable immoral. it is unbelievable the california sport fishing protection alliance is accusing the california department of water resources and the u.s bureau of reclamation of uh illegally diverting and exporting water yeah the the government you know, don't steal. The government hates competition. 
That's the Ron Paul saying, and I'm just going to continue to, you know, I, I'm sorry. I, I just, I admire Ron Paul, and he just makes so much sense, and he just puts it in perspective. Look, the government, yes, they hate competition. Don't steal. They hate competition. The government has to steal everything from us to function, to operate, understand it. Why should we not expect them to uh, divert water illegally? Of course, they want control of everything. Just like uh, the high-speed rail. Oh, you know, yeah, we're going to create a lot of carbon. Uh, that's why environmentalists are actually kind of against the high-speed rail because it cre creates so much carbon to build it. But, oh, the taxpayers are going to actually spend 25% to build that. They're going to take – they're going to – they're going to take 25% of the carbon credits that were allotted uh, to build the high-speed rail that we don't even want that's going to bankrupt us, okay? Paying for our own enslavement, bankrupting us. So the government just loves to steal from us. They love it. It's a hobby of theirs. Fresno really <laughs> – well, yeah, Stuart, it is, it is a hobby. <laughs> We, this is gallus humor. It's not funny, um, but we have to laugh sometimes at the absurdity of these parasites. They don't produce anything. All they do is produce death, destruction, poverty, misery, divisive w thinking, okay? Mind control is what they produce. Stuart, Fresno tops list of most disadvantaged areas. So we are a powder keg here in this valley getting ready to go off. The drought, the mind control, the poor economy, the depression that we're in. Um, and so a report came out that, yes, Fresno is, uh, is, is the most disadvantaged area in the state. I see it every day, all the time. And it saddens me because I see people on the street and I want to give them money, even though I know it'll do no, no good. <laughs> uh, but, you know, at least if I give them a dollar, they could shop at the family dollar because there's one on every corner right now. On the way over here at McKinley and Olive, it used to be a Safeway. It's now a Dollar General, okay, or the General Dollar. I don't know what it's called, but it, it, there's dollar stores literally popping up everywhere in Fresno, and that is literally – I know that's a sign of collapse. I mean this 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 economy in Fresno collapsed, done. Uh, I don't know when our city will go bankrupt, but it, probably pretty soon here. Uh, that is a sign of depression, living standards going down, okay, it's not creating real wealth, real jobs, real career. It's not building businesses. Okay, these are just big corporate chains that get slave labor from, uh, you know, Mexico because Mexico has no regulations, but we're heavily regulated. So uh, we have minimum wage laws, all that BS. But you see it everywhere. I'm gonna have to do another report on this and go film all the Dollar Generals and Family Dollars in Fresno. It's an epidemic. Okay, it's literally an epidemic. And they treat you like a criminal at the Family Dollar. At the, Pam did a video. And she she's she films all the stuff is is uh, has a tag on it, so it's a, worth a dollar, tag. but it has a tag. So literally, they know that it's going to get so bad that people are going to even try to steal from the dollar store. That is a sign of depression. That is bad. Okay, it's disgusting, sewer What they're doing to us, uh, how they're engineering this whole economic collapse. So please prepare, please folks, prepare. Uh, moving on here, Stuart to. Rick Perry's been indicted this week on some trumped up charges. And we saw the same thing happen to J Dinesh D'Souza. And we see this growing trend of Democrats indicting, bringing up, trumping up false indictment charges against prominent Republicans who speak out against them and, and go against the Democratic mafia agenda. It is, uh, it's getting scary out there for high profile Republicans. This is a chilling technique, but at least, I mean, I don't like Rick Perry personally for the Gardasil that he's pushed on all the the women and females in Texas. Okay, but that's a separate issue. He should probably be indicted on that, but that's a separate issue. If you want to indict him, indict him for something real. They indict him for this trumped up charge of public corruption. I mean, uh, it's ridiculous. And we see the same thing happening to Dinesh D'Souza, like I said. And so it's a direct attack by the Democrat Party, the monopoly, the uh co-founders of the Ku Klux Klan on Republican conservatives that want to actually maybe try to have some kind of functioning society. Yeah. Uh, what was it? The, the Democrat judge that, oh, she doesn't want to abide by the law. So the governor gets indicted. I don't want to abide by the law because I'm a judge and I can do whatever I want. And I'm a, a God and I'm on a power trip. So we're going to indict the governor just for saying that you need to resign because he doesn't want to give someone $7 million, over $7 million. Uh, what was it called The for, for her office uh, runs the Public Integrity Unit? Uh, someone who is uh, 
should definitely be in jail for a lot longer than <laughs> Perry's up for. Uh, obviously, you don't want to give her $7 million because we know she's corrupt, clearly. Um, but ultimately, Rick Perry's being attacked because he's putting troops on the border. He's acting like a governor. He's doing what, what the Constitution – he's following the Constitution, and he's listening to his constituents, people that voted for him, people of Texas – uh, by securing the border and the Mexican government, I didn't know we had to uh, conform to what the gov the Mexican government wanted. I thought we were a sovereign nation, but apparently if the Mexican gov government doesn't like troops on their borders, then we actually we, we have to listen to the Mexican government, even though we're just securing our borders because they have a collapsed system. You know who needs to be arrested that's a Republican? How about John Boehner for not uh, I impeaching uh, Obama? How about arrest all these Republicans that just go along with the treason? How about arrest... Uh, Politicians that go to the Bilderberg groups on charges of treason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kasim Reed. Mayor, uh, I can name a bunch of them, but just this year, a mayor from Atlanta, really going to uh, uh, the Bilderberg meeting. That's treason. It's Logan Act. He's he violated that. But anyway, it's just it's they are they're trying to. They don't want anyone acting like a governor. They don't want anyone following the Constitution in power because they know that people are going to back them, and uh, and they can't let that happen. They're phasing out humanity. They are eugenicists, and what they want is a transhumanism where we all plug our brains into the matrix. And so I'm going to read to you now out of the King's James Bible. It says, For before these days there were no wages for, for man, nor any hire for beast, neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the enemy. For I said all men, everyone against his neighbor. Now that sounds exactly what's happening. And uh, they're phasing this out to bring in robots to do the jobs for the elites because like the G Georgia Guidestones say, they don't need us anymore and they need population down to a manageable level. For more information on stuff like that, vi uh, listen to Mark Dice. Uh, he... He's written books about it, Illuminati Facts and Fiction. Uh, what's the other one? Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare. He's written many books about this, and he covers it on his YouTube channel almost every day. Uh, and we really, he he understands exactly what they say in the Bible, and they he he breaks it down to what's actually going on right now. And we need to uh, we need to uh, reject it, reject all these Vera chips. I mean, they put little chips in the little tags that students have to wear at Bullard High School. They have to wear a little ID card that has an RFID in it. Yeah, they have trackers on uh, kids. It's trendy. Yeah, and, oh, of course. Uh, I posted on Twitter. That's Instagram, how they sell blah, blah, blah. it to Oh, and this ice bucket challenge. Um, yeah, it's mindless. Uh, everyone's doing it. It's just another trend to keep us, uh, I guess, <laughs> laughing about an ice bucket challenge. To me, yeah. that's another distraction. Exa Thank you, Woody. It's exactly a distraction. Think about distraction what of what's going on in the real world out there. Think about it. You're you're taking the ice bucket challenge, pouring ice on yourself, so you don't have to give to charity. That is just what. <laughs> so you don't have to give to charity. Hey, hey, look, guys. I don't want to give to charity, so let me do something trendy and put it on the internet and just distract you can everyone. Do something stupid wow. and put it on the internet. You're just yeah, both. It's just idiotic and it's just a waste of our time. Duh. So. Uh, Watch Mark Dice, Stefan Molyneux, uh, Molyneux, a lot of great activists out there. We need to subscribe to their channels, support them, buy their books. Okay, support, support the info war, support alternative media. Yes, it's we need freedom of speech. We need another viewpoint. We need all viewpoints. That's right. Wow, so we're, we're almost out of time, but uh, I want to say no war. We don't need any more wars. That's what they're pushing right now. No war. Bring our troops home. Secure our border. No war. With the Middle East, they, now the newest thing coming out is this uh, journalist that got beheaded, supposedly. We can't even trust if this is true facts that they're telling us. But even if it is, it's we can't go to war over it. We need our troops here at home to defend our border. No war. Absolutely, no war. I, we can't say it enough. It's immoral to go to war uh, for profit for multinational corporations. Only in the interest of national defense or if we're being, or national security or if we're being attacked. Okay, that's the only legitimate reason to go to war, period. We fund, train, and command Al-Qaeda, our biggest threat over there and reason for going to war. So it's a complete, total fraud by the military industrial complex. No war. No war. Folks, that's all we have time for you tonight. Thanks for joining us. Peace, love, and liberty. Sam? Yeah, um, speak out and take action. This show is sponsored by We Are Change Fresno.